It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. In fact, it's the largest American jobs investment since World War II. It will create millions of jobs, good-paying jobs. It will grow the economy, make us more competitive around the world, promote our national security interests, and put us in a position to win the global competition with China in the upcoming years. It's big, yes. It's bold, yes. And we can get it done. What the proposal the president will make is that some of the very steep tax cuts aimed at the very wealthy and the biggest corporations that were passed under the Trump administration will be undone and pay for this. The infrastructure is so important, and if it's a large package, we could do big new projects here in western New York, not just rehabilitate our roads or our water or our sewer. So it's really vital. We depend on transportation. We're a crossroads right here. And getting money for infrastructure helps us revitalize our economy and create new jobs. But the pay for will be undoing some of the Trump tax cuts that were aimed at the wealthiest people and the wealthiest corporations. It's not surprising at all that the uh, business roundtable and the chamber don't think that raising taxes on the corporate sector uh, is sound. I mean, that's not exactly surprising. And there'll be quite a debate <clears throat> over the various components of the Biden tax plan, which are just now coming out. Um, but uh, five years ago, at the end of the Obama administration, the business community was pretty well agreed on cutting the corporate rate from 35 to 28. I don't mean to say everybody thought that was perfect, but there was a widespread agreement as I remember it. So <clears throat> coming back and saying, oh my gosh, 28% uh, is, is a terrible idea, uh, I think is a little questionable. He's gonna lay out his plan, where to invest, how to invest. And he's also gonna offer a, a, a way to pay for it. Uh, he uh, has, he will say, and we will say, we're open to uh, conversations. If people have other ideas about how to pay for it, how to structure this, that's how the process will be. But the president's got a pretty clear vision for how we could do this, and uh, it would be really good for the economy.